Hey all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a quick look at One More's high definition Bluetooth adapter. As the name implies, this will allow you to transform currently wired 3.5 millimeter auxiliary based headphones and earphones that you may currently own into something that can be connected wirelessly using Bluetooth to your smartphone. As these days, many of our smartphones are emitting a standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And you can also get the utility out of perhaps higher quality headphones that you currently own and just make it wireless. Take for example One More's own quad driver in your headphones that we just checked out the other day. They sound awesome, but One More doesn't offer a Bluetooth wireless variant of this, and so if you want to make it into a wireless pair that still has this amazing sound quality and details and nuances, you can do that by picking up this little adapter. Of course, it's not the only Bluetooth adapter on the market. We've seen other ones in the past, but One More's offering does support other audio codecs and compatible with LDAC and AAC and SBC standards. So it will support lossless audio transmission using Bluetooth. On a single charge, this adapter will last for eight hours, which seems to be fair. I also want to point out that Cleverly, One More is selling this as part of a bundle that you can find sometimes. So they can be purchased alongside with one of their triple driver or quad driver wired uh, headphones, oftentimes at a very reduced and competitive price point. So it could be a good idea to pick one up in a bundle if you don't currently have one and also, again, have the two-in-one functionality of using it wired as well as wireless. Inside of this box, we have just the adapter itself, which as you can see here is very shiny and reflective. It has a considerable heft and density to it. The surface is made out of this chrome-like metal material and has kind of this aluminum unibody chunk crafted on all the sides, including the clip. So everything is very well put together. All the keys here are also made out of metal. It makes it look more expensive than only 30 bucks. But other contents in the box here include a quick user manual and we also get a USB Type-C charging cable. Now returning to the design, if anything it is pretty attractive to fingerprints and smudges, so you do have to clean the surface regularly, but again, it is very beautiful to look at. There is a status LED light on the base here, and otherwise just the standard auxiliary port for plugging in your headphones on the top. The side here has just a power key that you can tap and hold for a few seconds initially to enter the pairing mode, and then just connect it under Bluetooth settings on your phone or computer. And on the very bottom here, we have a USB Type-C port for charging. Now, it doesn't have any rubber flaps, so this is not going to be a waterproof rated device. Moving into performance, it really is as simple as it gets. It's plug and play basically, and you're just ready to go after connecting to the adapter in your Bluetooth settings. Uh, and again, we do have that LDAC support. One thing I will say though, is for all of the headphones that you can pair with it, the remotes on your existing wired headphones will likely no longer function, at least in my case when I was trying it out. Uh, so pressing on these keys for changing the volume, for example, won't do anything anymore. However, you can tap on the power key here once, uh, once you are connected to your phone, to play and pause your music. If you want to change or adjust the volume of the music, you still have to turn to your phone's volume controls. So that is one thing that maybe they can consider adding in a next generation model. It preserves exactly the sound signature of the headphones or buds that you're wearing, especially for uh, their quad drivers and triple drivers, it still sounds amazing in terms of all the details, powers it fully so you can notice all the nuances, you get the same sound signature overall, and they are very nice in terms of not having any distortion in the background. You can pause the music or turn the volume down and you won't find any hints of a hiss or humming, anything like that. It's also very smooth when it comes to playing and pausing your music, and you can definitely use these to watch a video on YouTube, for example, and the video and audio are still synced together quite well. Again, I was just impressed in terms of how clean they sound, really not adding much noise or distortion to the wired headphones and still preserving most of the details, in fact, especially if you're playing back a track on your phone that is high-res certified. But overall, this is going to be a great balancing point if you still want a level of detail within your sound to be preserved. You still care about the audio quality, but you just want something simple for kind of walking around. That's where something like this will be a great benefit, I think. The connection range is also quite good. I was able to stay away from the phone within a range of around 10 meters or 33 feet, and I didn't have any interruptions or any hiccups. 
All right, so that's more or less it as far as our quick hands-on review of One More's high-definition Bluetooth adapter. It's incredibly small but very solidly constructed and surprisingly has super clean sound, pretty good connectivity and support for LDAC and high-resolution playback. So you can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below. For now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.